Strike! Bull uppercut! What if Dark Bull had an evolution during the second season of Beyblade? Dark Bull is a balanced type Beyblade owned by Benkei in the anime. Its main feature is on its spin track called Horn 145 which gives this Beyblade an overall massive amount of attack power. Unfortunately, the tip semi-defense nullifies the attack power on this Beyblade as when you launch it, it's pretty much stationary throughout the battle. So what if Dark Bull had an evolution? Well, let's start by changing the fusion wheel. We're going to be removing the dark fusion wheel for these two options. On the left side, we have the Nightmare Fusion Wheel, and on the right side, we have the Forbidden Fusion Wheel. The Forbidden Fusion Wheel has three blades, which provide a lot more attack power than the Dark Fusion Wheel. And as you can see on the blades, it has some sort of pattern like scales. I think in a situation where you're grinding against another Beyblade that this scale-like pattern would prove to be quite efficient. Overall, this would be a pretty decent upgrade over the Dark Fusion Wheel, as the Dark Fusion Wheel did not have much attack power to begin with. And for our second option, we have the Forbidden Fusion Wheel. This Fusion Wheel also has a lot more potential than the Dark Fusion Wheel in terms of attack power. And if you look on the sides of the Fusion Wheel, it kind of looks like it has horns. This could overall be a good fit for the full theme. The edge of the Fusion Wheel has these rugged edges that could provide some good attack power overall for the Beyblade. I think these two Fusion Wheels could fit the Dark Bull Evolution theme perfectly, but the one I'm going to go with is the Nightmare Fusion Wheel. I think the Nightmare Fusion Wheel has a lot more attack potential, and going from a Dark Fusion Wheel to the Nightmare Fusion Wheel just sounds correct to me. Now that we've chosen our Fusion Wheel, we're going to have to change our other parts as well. We're actually going to be keeping the same spin track as that is the main feature on Dark Bull and overall provides it a good amount of attack power. Now that there's only one thing left to change, we're going to be changing the semi-defense tip for the flat ball tip. Flat ball is an amazing balance type tip as it can go from both stamina to attack mode mid-battle. Speed and power is something that Dark Bull needed as in the anime it was always so aggressive and now that we can put it onto our new evolution Nightmare Bull, I think this would be a pretty good overall evolution. Just look at those horns line up with the Nightmare Fusion Wheel. It just looks so good to me and I think this would be an overall great balance type Beyblade. This evolution basically just upgraded the attack power and speed of this Beyblade. Since we've upgraded the attack power, we did shave off a lot of the stamina and defense properties that Dark Bull had. But I think that's perfectly fine because I don't think Dark Bull had some good defense or stamina to begin with as when it did get unbalanced, the horns would just stop it from balancing. And here's to show you how Flat Ball can work in a battle. So here, I'm laying my launcher flat and launching Nightmare Bull with pretty much no momentum and it's pretty much staying stationary in the center of the stadium. But here, I'm going to be tilting my launch and adding a lot more momentum to it. And as you can see, Nightmare Bull is catching a lot of momentum and becoming extremely aggressive. And now with this in mind, we're going to be going against four levels of Beyblades. First level will be going against Rock Leon, a defense type Beyblade owned by Kiyoya in the anime. Kiyoya was someone that Benkei always admired and I think this would be a good matchup for level 1. It's not going to be too hard but not too easy at the same time. Level 2 will be against Fang Leon, the evolution of Rock Leon and is owned by the same person, Kiyoya in the anime. Fang Leon is a defense type Beyblade and overall has a lot more weight than the previous Rock Leon. This should overall be a good test against Nightmare Bull as both of these Beyblades have evolved and the attack power should be quite close. Level 3 will be against Big Bang Pegasus. Big Bang Pegasus is the third evolution of the Pegasus line and is owned by Jinka in the anime. This Beyblade is an attack type that has many different modes, but its main gimmick is on the tip, Final Drive. To explain it in simple terms, Final Drive lets you start out in a passive state, conserving your stamina, and then lets you go into an attack mode after. I think this Beyblade will be a good test for Nightmare Bull as it has a lot of stamina and attack power. Level 4 will be against our last evolution, Forbidden Sagittario. Forbidden Sagittario's main difference from its pre-evolution is the Forbidden Fusion Wheel and the tip, Eternal Defense Sharp. This overall has some good balance between stamina and attack. And its main gimmick is with these claws that provide some really good defense against other attack type Beyblades. Overall, I think putting Nightmare Bull against another evolution would be a really good test. Now, for our first battle, we have Rock Leon versus Nightmare Bull. This is the level 1 test. Can Nightmare Bull beat Rock Leon? This battle will be a best of 5, so first to 3 points will take it all. Already a quick hit to start off the match, and now the score is 1-0. Another really fast battle by Nightmare Bull, and now the score is 2-0. Alright, did you guys see that? Let's look slowly. Yeah, that right there is a piece of the horn on Nightmare Bull.
Ah, uh, honestly, this is the second time my Horn 145 spin track has broken while trying to make a video. To be fair, that was a great hit by Rock Leon though, it was directly on its horn, basically nerfing this Beyblade. But you know what, who knows, this could be a good thing for Nightmare Bowl, it could be a really good thematic design. A little bit devastated that this happened early on, and you can see the part on the right side, but this battle looks like Nightmare Bowl isn't doing too well. And the score is now 2-1 for Rock Leon. This is how Nightmare Bowl looks now, but we're just gonna keep going on with the test because I think Nightmare Bowl can still win. And even with the broken horn, Nightmare Bowl manages to get a knockout and now the score is 3-1. I'm actually starting to kind of like the design here. I think this would be a good thematic design for an evolution of Dark Bowl. And now for level 2, we have Fang Leon against Nightmare Bowl. Can Feng Leon defeat the new, newest evolution of Nightmare Bowl with the broken horns? Match will again be a best of five, so first of three will win. A quick super casual knockout by Bull, and now the score is 1 0. What a great charge up by Bull, and now the score is 2 0. What the hell was that? That was crazy. Let's slow mo that real quick. It looks like Bull just loses control here and runs towards the wall. And I think I think it's the horn that got stuck. Basically ejected it onto the other wall and knocked it out. That was crazy. The score is now 2-1. And there you go. Bull gets a casual knockout and it looks so cool doing it. And now the score is 3-1. Not gonna lie, the broken horn is growing on me and I'm starting to like it a lot. And now it just looked like this battle was pretty easy for Nightmare Bolt. And now for level three, we have Big Bang Pegasus. I think this will be much harder just due to the power gap between Nightmare Bolt and Big Bang Pegasus. And now we're gonna be doing another best of five, so first of three points will take it all. Nightmare Bull wastes all its energy at the beginning and now the score is 0-1. Watching this over, you can kind of see the broken horn spinning on Nightmare Bull. I thought it was just pretty cool to look at and I just wanted to point that out. Another loss for Nightmare Bull, and now the score is 0 2. This was definitely a better attempt by Nightmare Bull, but unfortunately, Nightmare Bull gets 0 3'd. Big Bang Pegasus just excels a lot more in stamina and attack than Nightmare Bull. Overall, it was a good try by Nightmare Bull, and now we have to move on to our level 4 against our newest evolution, Forbidden Sagittario. Which evolution line will do better? Well, let's see, we're going to be doing another best of 5, so first 3 points will take it all. Whoa, that was a sick hit. Wait, let's slowly replay that. Bull hits the wall and hits the wall again and jumps onto Sagittario and gets a really good aerial hit. But unfortunately, that did cost its balance and stamina. Really cool hit at the start, but unfortunately, Nightmare Bull couldn't keep up in stamina and now the score is 0-1. Jeez, that is probably the coolest bull uppercut I've ever seen. Once again, bull gets a really, really good hit, but unfortunately, it couldn't knock out Sagittario, and now the score looks like it's going to go to Sagittario here, and now the score is 0-2. Great hit from Bull actually knocks out Sagittario this time, and now the score is 1 2. Huge collision, which knocks out Sagittario first, and now the score is tied 2 2.
Looks like Bull is going to take the win with the sleep out. And now the score is 3-2. Let's just look at this replay. Look at that follow-up. What a great hit by Bull. This battle was so fun to do because Bull was just so unpredictable at all times. A great battle between Forbidden Sagittario and Nightmare Bull. It kind of looked like Bull had control in most battles and would only lose if it were to mess up. But yeah, what do you guys think of this overall evolution? And should I keep the broken horn for Nightmare Bull as the matter purposes or should I replace it with a new one? Because personally, I like how it's kind of broken. It adds characteristic and overall kind of like battle scars. Also, I'm thinking of redoing my evolution line because previously my evolution line was just vertical videos and only 2 minutes long and it was mainly for other platforms like TikTok. If you made it this far, let me know if I should continue with redoing my evolution line and what other evolution I should do. 